Mate, it smells like a locker room in here. I don't think you're the best person to lecture on that subject. Can't believe I'm here again. About to give up a child I love. So wait, wait! I just hate the thought of you going through this on your own. Don't. My sweetheart. <laughs> a large glass of red, please. My perfect man. He's just destroyed everything I thought my life was. I need to tell him. No, no, Toya, that's really not a good idea. Where is he? He's visiting the kid. You mean his kid? Kill him, Ron. That man's a fool. Ah, so I take it you're not here to see me then. You broke my heart. I know. You know <laughs> that I love you, and I am pretty sure that you still love me too. You have a child, Imran, and he has a mum, and that's not me. See, and that is the difference between men and women. I've got to go into school. But I've got an obscene amount of sucking up to do if I want them to offer me a permanent job. I'm keen and happy to help. <laughs> I met my husband. He's left me. <sighs> I'm mortified. Don't be. Got a school trip to organise. I can do all of this. If you're sure. I'll be happy to help out organising the trip if you, you know, need an extra pair of hands. That'd be great. Oh, Jelena's dad wants us to know if you want to play chess. Yeah, you can go if you like. I'm sorry to ask, but would you watch over them for a bit? Of course. My dad's outside. I've got a dental checkup, but I could come back after and finish the game if you like. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. And thanks for the drink. You are very welcome. I'm just not very good today. I don't know why. He fancies Jelena. That's classified information. There is one person who I feel could give you very good advice on this matter, and that's your father. Ah, uh, well, she's coming back, isn't she? And I bet she doesn't give two hoots about who wins or who loses. Thanks. Checkmate. Well played. It was fun. Maybe we could play again tomorrow? Yeah. A way to show our appreciation, the person with the best sales figures in a week is going to get a little bonus. But as I was saying, for a bigger order, I can give you a bigger discount. <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah. See you then. Right, OK, who was it? I'll call him back. Mr. Geronimo, I like the Apache. He's coming in on Friday to see you, if that's all right. You get the bonus. Ace! Now it's too late. I just wanted to let somebody know that Mr. Nealon's body's been released from the coroner's office and he's now with us. A joint funeral is an option, of course, if that's what Kelly's thinking. I, I, I don't know. That's no, fine. Uh, hello? It's me dad's solicitor. He said he wants to see me. I can tell you you're the sole beneficiary of his entire estate. £380,000. And I told you I don't want it. Did my dad ever mention, like, what kind of funeral he wanted, or...? I'm afraid not. It'd be a nice place once it's cleaned up. Look, I know you feel like he let you down, but he did love you. I can't, I can't do with this. Kelly, wait. Don't try and kid a kid at. Drugs are sort of my specialty subject. I feel like, I feel like I can't breathe. I wasn't there. <laughs> She was about to take a swig of her mother's morphine. You're part of this family now and we're going nowhere. I mean, let's face it, being adopted is probably better than having a useless junkie for a mother. <laughs>